Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So we have the Six of Wands as your overarching energy, which is Leo energy, I have to say. Let's pull another card. What do we have for Leo, please, for the week? message for our lovely leos for the week please angels spirits guides what does leo need to hear the most what does leo need to hear the most thank you okay we have very nice i've got healing but i've also got contentment okay And angels, what is the message for Leo, please? Message for our lovely Leos, thank you. Yeah, it's a real Leo word. It's courage. I mean, that is very much the lion in the tarot deck, which is Leo. We have courage. Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. First card is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome, should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message, Leo. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So message for Leo, please. Angel Spirits Guide, message for our lovely Leos, thank you. Okay, so I have the Queen of Wands in your challenge position. I mean, the Queen of Wands can be an Aries, but it can be Leo, Sagittarius as well. Male or female. Knight of Pentacles is advice from spirit. And the devil is your outcome. Okay. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. Message for Leo, thank you. Okay, so I have the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> the Knight of Pentacles, Leo, we have the Moon. And the Devil, we have the Nine of Swords. Bottom of the deck. I've got the Seven of Wands. You know, when I was putting out the cards, uh, I needed to say something to you, Leo, which was you did the right thing. <laughs> that might mean something for you. But there's definitely an energy if you've done the right thing or you, you're going to do the right thing or you've done the right thing. And that's what I just want to say about this situation because it feels that you might be second guessing yourself. And the kind of message here, the courage, stand up for your beliefs, you know, it's definitely this kind of thing of you do the right thing for you, no matter what, you know, because there's a journey and energy of healing that is going to bring greater contentment in your life now. Um, a lovely energy of, of healing, I mean, is reconnecting to who we are. You know, we heal emotional wounds, mental wounds, um, you know, physically from stress that that might have caused, you know, in a situation, it feels that you've been going through a period of, of transition, of change, of, of staying firm to what this victory represents. You know, the Six of Wands is somebody who is, is putting a victory, a challenge behind them, and they've overcome it. They've claimed a victory. Sorry, it's, it's claiming a victory and overcoming some kind of challenge and putting it behind them. It is Leo energy and it is a card of a significant success, achievement and also a card of discovery of self. So this is a message of you've done the right thing. 
or you soon will come through the other side of a situation and just know that you've done the right thing. And it feels like something that has been very stressful. Queen of Wands could be you, Leo. I mean, we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups in the challenge position is the card of self-love. It's a card of trusting your intuition. And again, with this Queen of Wands, which I see as you, again, male or female energy, I just feel that the actions, the decisions, the direction that you've taken, you know, the way that you've, you've dealt with something or will deal with something, it feels that you're going to do the right thing, but it definitely feels this is reconnecting you to who you are. Uh, it's a card of self-love. Yeah, can also be a card of self-respect in the challenge position, the Queen of Wands. You know, I deserve more, keeping my self-respect, you know, that kind of energy, you know. Um, but it's a feeling of, of, you might have felt a little bit powerless. Or something that challenged your power of self in a situation. Because that's what the devil does, you know? It's something that feels bigger than we are, that feels that makes us feel like the situation is is beyond our control. You know, and it's it, it, it is that difficult energy of it can be shadow self, but can be also dealing with a person who represents the devil, somebody who is unhealthy for you, someone who brings instability and insecurity, somebody who um can be an addictive energy, you know, so and I don't know why I'm talking about this card right now, but I feel I need to. It can be somebody who is, I mean, it can be unhealthy attachments in whatever context. So for some of you, it's caused you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry. And it feels like this is something that you're still dealing with, something that has taken a lot of energy and power from you. It feels like it's been very draining. The message is you're going to come through the other side. And don't second guess yourself because the thing about the devil is it's so attractive. It's difficult to break free of, you know, and it feels in this context, you will overcome it. You will heal and you will feel content again. So that's what spirit is telling you. The moon is lack of clarity. Uh, and the knight of pentacles is getting back on track. Again, the Knight of Pentacles can be a healing energy. It's Virgo. Uh, again, there's, there's definitely this energy of trust your intuition. You're being guided right now in finding your direction, in getting back on track, on getting back onto solid ground, having gone through a lot of instability in your life. So certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, it feels for some of you that you're in the process of getting back on track, but you will get back on track. You will bring change to the situation, even though you don't see it, the universe does. The message is stay in touch with your intuition, your inner knowing. Um, and, you know, this Knight of Pentacles can also be offers opportunities. I mean, sometimes can be in terms of money career as well, Leo. Um, you know, the Pentacles energy can be our foundational relationships. Uh, it can be... Um, our home, our property, our money career it can also be our health. So in whatever context this devil affect you, something that has been difficult to grapple with and deal with, there's a message here, could be some offer opportunity that will get you back on track, could well be you don't see it coming, but you will get back on track. Have There's definitely an energy of have faith, you know. The moon comes when emotions are sometimes high, when not everything is clear. And again, that Nine of Swords, not everything is clear because this can be somebody who is in their own head, stressed out about a situation. You know, something is getting on top of them. The Swords energy is to do with the mind, the perspective, thought patterns. And definitely in this energy, there's a reason for you to feel like this. It's based on fact. It's based on whatever this devil represents to you. But there is also a need to get perspective. 
And when you can't see the way forward in a situation when you can't get perspective of the mind, the message is and your emotions as well. Trust your intuition because you're being guided. Both the Ace of Cups, the Moon Energy are both telling you the same thing. You're being guided towards the right path. You're being guided towards a new opportunity by your instinct intuition. It's a card of hidden blessings, the Moon. So there is definitely an energy of a need to get perspective in something that feels like it stressed you out, caused you sleepless nights, anxiety, worry. And this is the courage energy, the seven of wands. You will get back on track, even though you don't know it, you will get back on track in whatever context, money-wise, job-wise, business-wise, you know, life-wise as well, if it's to do with romance, relationships, because the seven of wands is the card of determination. It's the card of perseverance. If it's a card of even though the odds are stacked, seem stacked against you. And I say seem stacked against you. This is somebody who is resolute. They're not backing down. It's a Leo energy. It's brave heart energy. And you're being told to be brave. Find that courage. Stand up for what you believe and keep going. Because I feel what you're doing is the right thing. And that's what I said at the beginning. You know, you, you're doing the right thing for you. So don't second guess this. This is about keep on going. Yeah. Now I'm going to... Yeah. You know, I mean, the cards. I have the Eight of Wands um, that has fallen out, which is there is going to be a shift. There is going to be change. This is fast change that's coming your way. A fast energy shift, a fast life change. Could be some communication or news coming your way, could be opportunity. Um, but it feels for some of you, by the actions that you've been taking, all of a sudden there is some kind of shift. Thank you. And finally, there's the ending. I definitely feel that the end is, the end is, the death of what has tested you is coming. Something is about to end and it feels a period of what has tested you. And what it's doing is allowing you to let the new into your life. You know, the Ace of Cups first and foremost is opening to receive and it's opening your heart generally to receive. So it feels like you've been dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, something that seemed overwhelming or someone in your life. You will get back on track in whatever way, you know, I've already described. There is going to be some shift or news that is going to happen here. Some change, fast change, swift change that's coming that is going to bring about some kind of ending, finality to a situation drawing the line under it and this is a card of shedding an old skin because it's the phoenix rising card it's the card of out with the old and in with the new so it feels like you've been wrestling with something but you will overcome it there will be some significant achievement that is heading towards an ending and i definitely feel in this situation this is where you're rising in your light this is the transformation of you by your actions, you are bringing transformation to a situation, shedding the old and welcoming in the new. It feels quite poignant here, Leo, I have to say. So definitely an energy of you are the phoenix rising this week. I'm going to pull one more card because it feels like quite a big reading for some of somebody. It, I can see what you're saying because it's like, will something ever end? Yes, it will. Don't give up now. That's why you're being told to stand your ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know and I've got the three of wands 
you know, a three of wands is by your actions, something good is coming your way, your ships are coming in. And that can be in terms of Ace of Cups is self-love, happiness, the beginnings of a new happiness, a new phase of your life. It's not necessarily just a physical thing, the Ace of Cups. It can be an emotional one where you're ready to move on in a situation. The Ace of Cups can also be new love. The Ace of Cups can also be opportunity. Sometimes creative, expressive opportunity, um, you know, things like culture, uh, if it's to do with career money, it can be to do with um, journalism, media, entertainment, cultural areas, you know, that kind of thing. It's kind of expressive industries, creative industries. Um, so that might resonate for some of you as well. Can be new friendships, new pets as well, Leo. But there's definitely an energy that you are going to get back on track. You don't see the big picture, but the universe does. And something is going to end. And it's going to start. It's going to herald in a new period of real happiness and joy for you. So keep the faith. Keep on going. Keep at something. This is a brave heart energy. Because for some of you, you are getting on higher ground than that which opposes you in whatever context. So I'm going to pull a final card, Leo. Thank you. We have Army of Life, Leaf Cutter Ant. Ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. Yeah, it might well be there's people in your life who are supporting you, guiding you. I'm going to pull one more for you, Leo. Speak your truth. Cat, have strength, faith and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. Yeah. Very beautiful energy, Leo. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.